for sure it's been you know a major trans transformation um co you know coming in but um i've gotten you know games under my belt i've been training with the team so up to this point i'm you know pretty comfortable um you know 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 the girls strengths their weaknesses and um so yeah What's the most different, would you say, from all of your international experience and, you know, coming from high school to the college game? There's a lot to kind of focus on all at once. You're suddenly thrown into school, you're thrown into training, you're thrown into games, you're thrown into travel. What What has that been like, trying to figure out how to balance all of that? Um, well, you know, from before, you know, I'm kind of used to traveling soccer with school. And the biggest thing is just, you know, balancing the two. Um, but, you know, being here, you know, traveling, um, you know, I just got here and I was thrown into, like, soccer and, turn, like, the season started right away. And with school on top of that, it's been, you know, a bit of an adjustment. But, you know, once again, just, like, learning to, you know, balance with my school and soccer and, you know, just um, setting my priorities straight. Um, it's been good. And then focusing a little bit more on just this season in particular, you were just um, awarded the Big 12 newcomer of the week award just kind of talk about that how did how do you feel about that you know to finally get a weekly award under your belt a conference award um well yeah it's definitely a great feeling i mean you know i know i've been working hard and this team has been working hard um you know up to this point we're doing great in the big 12 so far um having the wins under our belt so i mean it's great to get that you know award great accomplishment for me personally but i just think continuing to work hard and whatever comes my way i'll accept it and then, speaking of working hard, you have two more games this weekend. You have Iowa State and TCU, two more good teams in the conference. What's it going to take for this team to stay undefeated through the weekend in the Big 12? Well, again, you know, just continuing what we've been doing up to this point, you know, um, there's a reason why, you know, we have the wins and why, you know, we're successful thus far. So just continuing to work hard, you know, follow, you know, our coaches, you know, Izzo has the plan for us. Um, remaining focused and just know that it's going to be a big game Friday and Sunday. They're going to come out, you know, we always have a target on our backs, you know, being undefeated. So, you know, just continuing, you know, follow our game plan and um, no, nothing can stop us. Do you feel like the midfield's finally starting to click a little bit? The offense has really been grinding out a lot of great goals the last couple of games. So what, what do you attribute that to? Um, well, once again, you know, during training, you know, we really have that focus piece on positionally, you know, our strikers have been like getting in the work, finishing, um, we've been really working on crossing because I know like during our games, like we have a lot of opportunities and, you know, we kind of struggle to capitalize off of those opportunities. So just we really emphasize working on finishing and our strikers, you can tell it's been paying off. So, um, you know, just continuing to work um, what we need to do, not only our strengths, but our weaknesses and getting better in those um, spots.